Ryan Shazier made quite an impact on the football field for Ohio State, leading the team in tackles the past two seasons while earning all Big Ten honors as well as All-American accolades. But as Mark tells us in today's OIO Faith on the Field segment, Shazier, who's leaving the Buckeyes with a year left of eligibility to pursue those NFL dreams, has visions of making a bigger impact off the field. Ryan Shazier's dad, Vernon, is the Miami Dolphins team chaplain. Someday, perhaps maybe later this fall, Shazier could join his dad in the NFL. And he says growing up a preacher's kid has made all the difference in his life. Uh, it really impacted my life a lot uh, because my dad, uh, uh, I, I know uh, most dads want to lead you the wrong way, but uh, my dad, I feel like, would never lead me the wrong way. And with him being a pastor, really helps out a lot because uh, he, 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 uh, he knows the Bible pretty well, so when I need something uh, I'm going through, I can always talk to him about it, and, and he always sent me to the Lord. Uh, when, I, when, he, when he can't help me, he always sent me to the Lord, and, and that's always, my, always been my backbone. And if I, I feel if I didn't have him as a, uh, as a father, I don't know what my life would be right now. Uh, so. The Florida native says he matured as a believer late in his teens. Uh, it, it was it was a really big moment. It was between like high school and college. Uh, I was I was still trying to find myself uh, because uh, when I was younger, sometimes you think you you have to be it or or they're making you be it. But when, once you get older, you really understand how much how much uh, you really are, how, how really uh, important it is and how really close you have to get to them by yourself and not just through your parents. So I, 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 through, through that time, that's when it really helped me. Uh. Earlier this season, Shazier offered to go to Virginia with fellow linebacker Curtis Grant following Grant's father's passing away. His teammates certainly know about Shazier's servant heart. He's a great guy. Um, you know, he's one of those guys who's always trying to get the linebackers together, spend some time. So we've, we've got a really close bond because of that. Uh, you know, guy's got a big heart, and so anytime someone's down, he's looking to pick someone up. Um, and he's been a really good guy to get to know over the past couple of years. Uh, ever since I first came in, he was there to help me right along the way. So, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that I look up to definitely. Yeah, I always, I always try to help others because uh, our goal, our goal uh, on this world is to is to try to be like Christ and, and try to let others know about him and and and. and, and and try to help others grow and, and become Christians and, 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 and make it to heaven also. And, I, and that's been my goal. I've been trying to uh, help impact people, not through football, not just through football, but through faith. And I've just been trying to help it, anybody I can when it comes to it. Shazier has a constant reminder of his favorite verse. Uh, I have a Philippians 4.13 tattooed on me, and it's, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and, and I, I really believe in that. Uh, I always talk to the Lord, and whenever I have, when I need something, or I always know he has my back, and he'll always keep me strong through any adversity. Shazier isn't the only Buckeye who relies on his prayer life. When running back Carlos Hyde was suspended for the first three games this season, his faith and daily talks with the Lord strengthened and sustained him. My faith, my faith has uh, helped me a lot this year. You know, um, the time where I did get in trouble, you know, I just got, uh, I actually got closer to God during that time. You know, that was probably the person I talked to the most. You know, every night. You know, I just said a prayer to him, you know, that he'd get me through this. And, um, you know, and after he got me through it, you know, I still, before every game, you know, I say a prayer, you know, to him that, that he beats with me uh, today during this game and uh, just let me shine. And so far, it's been so good. 